Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Neo 2 Darkness in the Capital DLC for the Sony PlayStation 4. Alright, so this DLC actually came out today on October 15th. And it actually added not only like a new region, but it added some new content as well, which I will go over first. In fact, why don't we go to the shrine, because that's where we can see it. They have a new setting over here called Stone of Penance. Carry out various actions related to Stones of Penance. So in order to receive a Stone of Penance, you have to give up one of your accessories. And I think we'll give up... Not that one. What's a good one? Let's sort it by value. Because I've had a pretty good one that I like to use. It's a Magatama. I'm trying to think what one it is. I think it was this one right here. Because, you know, it has, like, enemy sensor, elemental damage taken, all that stuff. Actually, what if I can get something better? I would like something with enemy sensor, actually. Or maybe I... Don't I already have a equipment that I'm wearing that has enemy sensor? I think that's one of my equipment slots. No, I don't have enemy sensor on this. Okay, never mind. We won't use that one. Well, we'll try a different accessory anyway. What's a good one? We'll try out the Abacus. Select a difficulty level. So mission's difficulty level must be set to the Stone of Penance difficulty level or higher in order to receive the Stone's Penitence. In other words, if you set it to, like, Dream of the Strong, it'll probably be a bit slower. But you'll still be able to get it. Receive Stone of Penance to the selected settings. And there you go. We can return the Stone of Penance at any time. Of course, the chance of increased rarity for this accessory is... Not high. In fact, it may not be existent. It could increase value, though, to make it better. But we're going to be playing on Dream of the Strong anyway. So in other words, I'm going to have to change my accessory back to the one that had enemy sensor. But I kind of want to keep this one too. It says Kadama sensor too. Okay, I think I might have booked myself into a corner because I need like be able to detect, detect Kadamas too. I'm gonna have to give up the Yasakami Magatama temporarily. Which I'm not a fan of doing. Well, this is only gonna be temporary anyway. Even though I will lose a buff somewhere for giving me more health and stuff. Yeah, I think we'll just take this for now. So we can have Enemy Sensor and Kadama Sensor. For some reason, I thought it was like on one of my pieces of equipment, but it's not. Well, that's a bit of a slow start. <laughs> Let's move on to Darkness in the Capital, which starts in 976 AD. Yeah, we're going farther back in time than the previous DLC. In other words, we're probably still in the high end period. Many years ago, a grotesque bull-like creature is said to have been slain by Yorimitsu, sprang forth from the Asakusa River, and entered the shrine compound. As suddenly as it arrived, it vanished, leaving a single orb behind. Yoshitsune, we finally found it! Intriguing! What will appear? A snake or a demon? There's only one way to find out. A demon snake.
Alright, welcome to the second DLC, Darkness in the Capital. That woman is actually going to be the most important character in the DLC, just like Yoshitsune was in the first one. I believe that's Abe no Saime, who apparently was gender-bent, I guess. Like, I know there's, like, a male version of Abe no Saime who trained you in, like, Omnio. So now we got ourselves another one. Suzune and the Flames. Alright, so I'm gonna do this in Dream of the Strong difficulty because I didn't get to beat Dream of the Demon yet. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. <laughs> Alright, so recommended level 230. Well, I should be fine. My level's 291. Like, I'm way over-leveled for this. But in Dream of the Demon, I wouldn't be able to play this anyway. That's the bird spirit! Oh, that appeared in Yoshitsune's thoughts. And that means we've come to the right place. This time, it seems to be that box that's called us here. It's all very mysterious indeed. But at least we're better prepared than the first time. Could there be another in this time? One whose fate is bound to the Sahayamaru? Well, I guess we'll find out. Which, for some reason, this mission does not have a Dark Realm or any Hot Springs. Instead, we get ourselves our new weapon type, the Fists. And only two Kadama. Alright, so let's go. Haiyan Kyo is the capital of Japan, located in Yamashiro Province. Its name is derived from a combination of the Japanese characters representing harmony and stability. The palace is surrounded by rows of residences belonging to the aristocracy, and the roads that stretch across the city in a grid pattern were designed to form a dependable foundation for supporting the prosperity of this long-established capital. While the city flourished for a time after its construction, repeated natural disasters have gradually dulled its luster. As prayers to calm the vengeful spirits of those driven from the capital go unanswered, hordes of yokai continue to wreak havoc in the city. Of course they would. Alright, June 976. <laughs> We're so far back in time, there's only three digits of the year. <laughs> Just like playing Dynasty Warriors all over again. Only there are no wheel demons in Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> Yet. Would have made a Dynasty Warriors 9 a bit more fun, I'm sure. That's a game I might have to consider Let's Playing, given that I haven't Let's Played a Dynasty Warriors game yet in a long time since 3. Hmm. So it seems we have traveled through time once again. But it is hard to believe this husk of a city could possibly be our capital. Hey, y'all gotta start somewhere, right? But what if they want to help us? Alright, that looks like Lady Gaga lyrics. Let's go. M V X V Six One Something Something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, your your blades paralyze. Get out of here, you. Give me them on choco cups. I need to make up for the ones that I have spent. Alright, so I... Whoa, the karaoke is waiting for me. Oh! Man, Archer. These guys actually made their debut in the first DLC. Basically, stronger versions of the Anki that sometimes use Omnio against you as well. I guess it could also be considered Ninjutsu, now that I think about it. Speaking of which, I think there are new skills we can get now. So why don't I go over to the uh, skill trees. I don't know if there's any for Ninjutsu, but there definitely should be for Omnio. Nope, this is all the same from what I'm seeing right here. 
Noxious ground fire, blinding shells. Nope, this is all the same. So it's probably Omnio that has new stuff. Well, this is all the same. Sensory overload is the same. Talisman of the Fist the same. Water stop. Water Shikigami. Earth folding. Nope, that's definitely the same. Lightning familiar. Sanctity talismans. Steel decree. Resistance. Wealth bringer. Impurity transference. I don't remember that. It probably is the same, though. I thought there'd be, like, a new skills. Or maybe it's over here. Familiars! Maybe that's different. Okay, okay, I think we're on to something. So I think it started in, in, in Shikigami and didn't go beyond that. Alright, if I ever get enough Omnio, I might look into that eventually. Hello. It says there's another enemy nearby, probably on the other side of the wall. I knew that was a rogue hero, Kubi. You can just tell by the health bar. Like, obviously, like I said before, I haven't made many changes to my character. But if I ever get, like, the uh, new fists that they introduced in this DLC, I might try them out at least once. I would imagine it would also be, like, some kind of... Uh-oh. It would also be, like, a high break style weapon. Ah, oh, shoot. It wound up becoming an old one. That wasn't supposed to go down. This guy, however, is supposed to go down. God, I hear you. Bother me. So, I mean, it might end up being a breeze since I'm really over leveled for this. But again, like I said before, because I haven't gotten that far, Dream the Demon. Like, I finished two chapters, dude. and that's as far as I've gotten, you know, given how much time I've had with other things. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this DLC anyway. Oh, look, there's a Scampus. I'm being soaked in water, so that means I can use that to get across the flames. Whoa, what? Huh? Uh... Man... This version of Oregon Trail has gone really messed up. The frick is that? It's a freaking train or like some kind of cart with a demon head on it. That is the creepy ass shit I ever seen. The first DLC had like a giant crab. But then seeing this kind of car with a freaking face on it. And it looks like the second Kadama is around here. Are we seriously going to find them all so soon? I can run across and take the damage. It doesn't matter. Huh. We already found all the Kadamas on this mission. So I can take off the Kodama sensor one now. What did I take off in its place? Was it Yasakani? I think it was Yasakani. There we go. There. Soak myself in water so I don't have to worry about the flames on the way back. This might end up being a very short mission then. Hello. I figure I kill this guy before facing the Karoga. Yeah, see? Like, you can just tell that one is gonna pop up to attack you. Got his ass. <laughs> uh, just grab the soul core before we open that door. 
Is that really it? Might as well go this way though. See if we can grab some more stuff. Whoa, okay. This guy thinks he's Ryu or something. Huh. Good for him. Too bad I got him killed. This really can't be it. This is gonna end up being a very short main mission. Like, I only found, what, two Kadamas? That's all they had. It's telling me to go beyond this door. Are we already at the boss? Oh, never mind, it's Yorimitsu. Your kind has run amok in this city. Now you will pay with your soul! Minamoto no Yorimitsu. Oh, so she's probably re re related, or at least the ancestor of Yoshitsune. Wait, why am I the problem? You're summoning yokai too, you know. Okay, this will slow her. Ah, oh, gosh, she got a quick recovery. And she's pretty fast, I'm noticing. Whew! Okay, that's a pretty cool move. But easy to telegraph. She's got, like, a lot of weird attacks. So you really gotta watch out for her. Oh! Okay. It's, her grab is a lunge forward. Okay, now there's no Dark Realm, but she's actually more powerful. Yikes! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh. Well, I got her. Is it a cutscene now? Who are you to wield that sword? I'm from the future. <laughs> Lady Raiko, to the main gate. Cursed Yokai. You will not be so lucky the next time we meet. Come on, Kintoki. I guess I came on too strong. <laughs> the demon and the phoenix. Alright, we got ourselves our first trophy on this DLC. Not bad. That was really it. Just this one battle. Also, I'm noticing above my bow, that must be the Stone of Penance. So it's just a little over halfway full. Okay, then. We're getting used to, like, some of the new mechanics, even though I didn't get that new fist weapon. Did I? Well, maybe I did get it. We saw the Hayamaru gleaming, and O oh, floating beyond, and O oh, floating behind her. That she introduced herself as the Demon Slayer. That can only mean that we have found the famed yokai hunter, Minamoto no Raik Raiko. Well, I'm glad to have found the one we seek. Sadly, in her eyes, you are nothing more than another contemptible demon to be slain. You'd be wise to tread carefully, unless you're eager to join her collection of soul cores. I'd, I'd rather not. Thank you, Nikomata. Alright, guys, those are Samurai's Locks, Shugendo Hermit Fists. Okay, that's the fist we were talking about. Demon Slayer Helmet and Fabled Umbracite. 
We didn't get much by way of soul cores, but hey, it's better than nothing. Alright, the Blighted Gate. Recommended level 231. 3 out of 5 difficulty, and it does actually have 9 Kadamas. I'm just checking to see if there's another submission, and there isn't. Interesting. Alright, so let's go over to the HUD. What has changed? Oh, illustrations. Fair enough. So, the fists. What exactly do they need to be stacked? I know Tomfas are for courage and all that stuff. Shugendo Hermit Fists. Okay, looks like strength might be it. I believe. It is a purity-based weapon. Take down key damage goes up. Okay, let's take a look at it. Learn skills. Alright, that's how I got the samurai locks. What should I put it towards then? I don't see anything I could really want. And I mean, the fist does not count as barehanded. I would imagine it wouldn't. Because, you know, the fist, you're equipping something on your fists, obviously. You know, like brass knucks or whatever. So that's not barehanded. I'll just go with Deadly Eye 3. To make my range weapon stronger. Obviously, I have no skill points in the fists, but I'll give them a try. I hope I'll enjoy them more than the split staff. Because I couldn't really get into the split staff, to be honest with you. I wanted to, but I just couldn't. Yep, uh, strength does go towards your fists. I see. Um, I guess... Nope, we can't build up courage anymore. It's still hard capped at 99. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. I guess I'll just go with more dexterity then. So let's see. Current blessing, obviously we don't have one, so let's go get one. I don't have to worry about elixirs. Let's get the oracle blessing. How is my stone of penance doing? 56? I guess it's out of 100. I'm gonna have to try that with the other accessories that I like to use and make them even better. Probably just go back to previous missions and do that if I got time. But for now, let's take a look at the illustrations, like the yokai. I want to see what the hell that new yokai was. Oboro Garuma. Okay, it's a yokai in the form of an ox carriage. Ox carriages were a common mode of transport for Heian nobles and a symbol of their wealth, which led many nobles to decorate their carriages lavishly. It was not unknown for nobles to argue amongst themselves for the best space to park their ox carriage when attending festivals and other attractions. These ugly sentiments of conceit and envy, not to mention the resentment whenever one noble would lose an argument with another, were said to commingle and linger within the carriages themselves, eventually transforming into yokai. In the tale of Genji, Lady Rokujo is said to have suffered so greatly during one of these carriage-related fights that her deep disgrace took form as a yokai. Man, when keeping up with the Joneses reaches demonic levels. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can learn more about Minamoto no Yorimitsu. We'll just do a little bit of reading. Minamoto no Yorimitsu, also known as Raiko, is a military commander from the mid Heian period. She is renowned for her valor, having slain countless yokai with a sword, passed down through generations of the Minamoto clan. There are many legends that tell of her exploits with her most loyal retainers, the Four Guardians, Watanabe no Suna, Sakata no Kentoki, Usui Sadamitsu, and Urabi no Su Suitake. Such is their defeat of the yokai Shuten Doji and Tsuchigumo. Contrary to the generally accepted historical record, Minamoto no Yorimitsu was a woman. Her younger brother, who also went by the name Raiko, was active in the politics of the time, building his reputation on his sister's achievements. 
The legend of Minamoto no Yorimitsu that reaches us today, in fact, consists of the intertwined exploits of these siblings. In the midst of the burning capital, Yorimitsu utilizes the Nigitama stored in her box of soul cores to battle the encroaching fiends. Seeing the protagonist's horns, she assumes that the protagonist must also be a demon and attacks him accordingly. The two warriors are equally matched, but during their fight, Yorimitsu catches sight of the protagonist's blade, the same yokai slaying blade of her family. She grows even more suspicious of the protagonist's identity, but Kentoki interrupts their battle before she can learn more. She is told that she is needed at the Rashomon Gate and heads there at once, leave the protagonist for later. In other words, I gotta go follow her, don't I? <laughs> I would not be surprised. Alright, so let's save, and let's stop the video here. In the next episode, we'll move on to the next main mission, the Blighted Gate. See everyone, thanks for watching.